Kathy. Kathy, do your guides have anything to say regarding your new endeavor with performing music? Okay. So what can you tell Kathy about her new endeavor with music? Is this an optimal path for her? Oh yeah, I get a big warm yeah, and you, you guys are jumping up and down and clapping their hands and rubbing their tummies for some reason. I don't know, I guess it's delicious, it's satisfying, something like that. And you can unmute if you wanna comment, Kathy. So what else can you tell her about this endeavor with performing music? They're saying go with gusto, put everything into it, just really make it your own and have a ball. Don't get too serious, stay light and happy, and that will bring the most perfect energy to your music. And then that music will carry your love and intention out to those who hear it. So don't keep it in a box, don't judge it, because you're channeling music. Allow it to flow freely from you. And I feel like you've done this in past lives. You've got a connection to music Multiple past lives? Yeah, multiple past lives of music. So this has been waiting to come from you. It's bubbling up. Allow it to evolve and get even greater. And just enjoy the heck out of it. So yeah, do the music. You're currently working with a partner. Yeah, so it's it's currently me singing and, and uh, one of my friends playing guitar and, and we've uh, had just a handful of, of little gigs. We've just gotten together uh, in September and worked up a, a few little sets and it feels like he's soul clan and he's a cool guy, but I don't know if I you know need to stay with him or if I need to um, broaden my tentacles, if you will. Well, what I'm hearing is don't limit yourself. Why can't you do more than, if you feel led to, if you feel led to interact with more than one person musically, do that. Doesn't mean you have to leave that partner behind unless okay. you feel like you want to. You know, if it's not working, if there's too much friction, if it's too hard, then don't stay with that person because that's limiting your gift. No, there's no friction at all. Okay. Like, at all. Great. So, but there's more than one way to express your music. And if you're fully fulfilled with expressing it with this one partner, great, do that as long as it feels fulfilling. But if you feel like you want to stretch yourself into other areas, uh, use your voice differently, not be confined to that space that you share with that partner, then add others' elements into it, whether with it, that partner or by yourself. But it's, it's no limitations here. This is a gift that wants to flow from you. So don't limit the gift, and it is going to evolve. In a year from now, it will probably be different, fuller, more resplendent is what I'm hearing, than it is today, if you allow it to. Outstanding. Yeah. Yeah, the, the stomach thing is, it's, it's a form of therapy for me, <laughs> really. <laughs> so it makes sense. Okay, great. Because I was um, trying to figure out why are they rubbing their bellies? No, yeah, because I can feel it in my solar plexus. And my um, that particular chakra always gets okay. really warm before I perform and during performance and everything. Yeah, is that you think it'd be the throat chakra or the crown chakra? No, it's it's my solar plexus. That's the seat of power, so it makes sense. So when you're feeling it there, you are expressing your gift in a greater way. You're allowing it to flow from the power of the solar plexus. So that's really cool that you've tapped into that. Let it go. Let it expand. Thanks, yeah. You're welcome. Thanks for being here. 